Hello there guys and girls, this is Westbound for Westbound Music. Martin Heidenberg I suggested I do a little video tutorial on the drummer feature in Logic, so let's go right ahead and take a look at that. Click off my old face and uh, look at my project. This is a scene from my entry for Score Relief 2022. It's really action packed, there's a lot of going a lot of action going on here and it's really, you know, high paced and all that, so what I'm looking at is the support the drum track. There are drummer, um, drum tracks already there by Keep Forest's Free Ferrum Edition. I'm gonna put the link in the description. I highly um, suggest you check it out. It's a really versatile, free drum edition. So I chose in favor of... Um, well, let's solder this and give it a listen here. So I hope you can tell it's already, you know, like driving and really powerful drum hits. But I want a simpler uh, drummer, uh, like a 4x4 four four with uh, the beat on the second and the fourth uh, beat on the bar. I want that to support the whole thing. So I'm afraid you can't see that here in the picture now, but I'm going to choose the menu track, then select new drummer track. And uh, watch this area here. It placed a new drum track with a particular region that looks different from a MIDI region in that it has a different interface here and you don't see any MIDI notes. So let, let's listen back to what it just placed here. Okay, that's at the slow part. Yeah, much better. Pretty good, but I want more power. I need a real you know, muscle to sit in here. So let's bring up the library and you can see there is a whole lot of different drummers and genres. There are some ladies also present for, uh, you know, not only guys. So here it says uh, defaulted to rock and uh, pop rock and Kyle being our drummer here. However, um, I want a different drum kit. It says SoCal here in the right uh, column. And if you scroll all the way down, it says producer kits. So let's select those. And now it brings up the same patterns or the same drum grooves, but with a little plus sign at the end. And that means that instead of a stereo track, which we have now, it'll create a summing stack with individual tracks for kick drum, snare, hi-hats, overheads, tom-toms, all mic'd up in a professional way, and that's what we're looking for. So it's basically the same feature, just uh, in order to mix it, you have a lot more options, and I prefer that. Okay, um, what else we need? Uh, we need a different drum groove um, for on the floor is what I'm looking for <laughs> rhymes and uh, okay let's look at that we see certain pre uh, presets here uh, it shows for half pipe for, from the last drummer from SoCal so let's erase that here and uh, go back to the beginning of the scene click on the little plus sign I hope you can see it it's right here if I go next to the track, it will bring up this plus sign and it says uh, the little heads uh, overlay says add drum region. So click on that. Ah, placed it in the wrong place again. Okay, let's just slide it all the way back. All right, um, half pipe is not what I need. I want uh, new kicks. And in the interface, and this is the interesting part, I'm going to switch myself off here. The interesting part is that you have all these parameters that a real drummer would play in a visually representative, uh, in a visually represented style, like uh, there's a real drum kit, you get to choose which uh, drum uh, parts you need. If you, if you click on, for example, the, the toms, oh, okay, not okay. <laughs> My bad, yeah. Uh, let's go on with something else. Okay, what I meant to say is um, for, for the drums present in this kit that's going to be used, um, 
we have a lot of um, parameters like fills, how many fills to play within a region, and I'm gonna dial that back a little bit here, and uh, how many times the kick and snare are gonna be heard in a bar, seven times is way too much, let's bring it back to two, uh, and uh, eighth note feel is correct, we don't want it to be swung, we want it to be as straightforward as possible, and then also in this pad here, you get to move this yellow dot to where you want it. So loud is good, complex, well let's bring this back a little bit and have it play loud, but not all that complex. And at the upper end, at the other end it would say soft and simple. So let's first give this a listen. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, um, that will work, but it's too short. So now I could either um, stretch it out all the way f to the rest of the scene here, or I could choose in favor of a different uh, region and bring that down to two bars to have a little bit of variation. Instead of loud let's uh, and complex, let's play it a little softer and simpler. And listen back to that again. Yeah, that's a little bit <laughs> too relaxed. So let's move it up to loud and more complex. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So let's stretch this all the way out to the end of the scene. And maybe have a little ending here which is just one bar. Let's turn up the fills and make it loud and complex and end it on a strong note. So we have this section here, this region. This one here is a little, you know, more, I don't want to say mellow, but a little bit more reduced. And the initial one is also loud and complex. So let's audition our drummer and see how well he sticks up. Starts with a little fill and then goes into the straight groove. Let's fast forward. That's the more simple version. And then towards the end, what have we got here? Okay. Now let's see how this works with uh, the rest of our um, project and on solo and Give it a full listen. Works for me. I hope it does for you too. So before we finish this up, um, let's take a look at this little um, triangle here to the left. If I open that up, then will be presented with all the individual tracks like I promised. There's overheads, kick in, kick out. And for each of those tracks, and this is the kicker here, you get to have your signal shaping and, you know, like different EQs, compression. You could route it to specific um, sends or, you know, bus inserts um, for more compression if you needed to or for, um, let's say, a different uh, reverb on the on the snare drum, for example, well, let's check that out. Snare bottom sends um, the signal to bus 26. What's this on bus? Yeah, comp. Okay, that's good. Drive is also good. But let's also have a send that goes to a real long reverb, just to demonstrate. Uh, let's see. Larger room. A big cave is even stronger, I'm supposing. So let's solo the bottom snare and, and see. Yeah, I hope you could hear it. I've just turned up the reverb 
It's a little soft here. Hope you could hear it. Snare top, maybe that works better. Uh, let's choose larger room for now and see how that sounds. Large room, turn it up. Yeah, there it is. See? And if I deselect it, it's dry. And now it's wet. Let's dial it a notch back. Okay. Yeah, that that's basically, you know, uh, the the idea behind it is to to have a signal shaping and routing for each of the individual drum instruments like snare, kick and so on. Like in a real setting with the different mics being used on on the drum, uh, on the kick drum, on the on toms and so on. So I hope you liked this presentation. Sorry if I got sidetracked a little bit. It's still a lot going on for me here. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Drama feature. If you like this presentation, click uh, subscribe. Ding the bell to get notified about new content. Pay a visit to my friend Martin Heinreich and, and his subscribers and check out his great presentations of uh, libraries. He does a lot of them. He's got a Patreon page, so you want to uh, choose to follow him as well. All right, this is Westbound for Westbound Music. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later. Bye-bye.